All praise is to the Almighty, sublime, most magical one, the creator of all things, and the master of the day of judgment. Hallelujah, Father. And much love, honor, respect. We adore you, Mother. We love you, Mother. And we ask you for wisdom in this judgment news. Shalom, everyone. If you're new to my station, I am the Hebrew widow, the Hebrew Rose of Jericho, coming at you with some judgment news. To all of my brothers and my sisters out there of the star seas united in the knowing of who our mother and father is. Yes. And to all of our friends and allies, I send you infinite love and light and I receive yours. Today we're going to be talking about the sixth loop or the sixth reset. Yeah, some people are awake and they're in the knowing. Yeah, knowledge is on the increase and people are waking up. Yep, there were several resets. Yeah, it was a few before Noah's flood. Yeah, it was a few before then. We just didn't know about it. We thought that the that Noah's flood was uh, the only one. No, it was some before then and he's in the knowing. And there are many that are in the knowing of these things now because of the increase in knowledge. And so this guy, he's like, he, he, people resonated with his message. First of all, they could feel his fear. And, and secondly, you know, most people that are awake, you know, they dig and dig and dig for truth. And evidently he did because he knew about the sixth loop or the six reset and it scared the crap out of him and it scared others on the plane because evidently they know what he was talking about Chinese airline passenger opens exit hatch on runway so they were still on the ground and he claimed that the crew is not real and from where from hollow earth yeah they tricked us on a lot of levels yeah he's talking about hollow earth you know I have seen the diff different worlds of the body of Uriel in Africa and in Asia yeah so hollow earth does exist and we just didn't know about it they kept some things top secret and then they would make up stories to convince us of what they wanted us to think while we were asleep. So let's listen to the world-renowned Dr. Kaku. You guys remember when they were talking about Earth's core was spinning backwards? First of all, it's no such thing as the Earth's core. And this model you're looking at right now is something that they made up. And I'm going to prove it to you. Now this report comes not from Hollywood. It comes from reputable scientists at Beijing University that analyze echoes. When an earthquake takes place, shock waves go reverberating around the inside of the earth. And by analyzing these echoes with computers, you can recreate a model of the inside of the earth. And sure, I call bullshit. Sure enough, the core seems to be about to spin backwards. Okay. But I read that this happens every 70 years, so we don't need to be alarmed. That's right. The bad news is that we know very little about the core of the Earth. That's right. The bad news is that we know very little about the core of the Earth. That's right. The bad news is that we know very little about the core of the Earth. Very little about what's underneath our feet. Very little about what's underneath our feet. The good news is probably there's nothing to worry about. And that's why they give the forky tongue narrative about Earth having a core. So you heard that bullshit admission from Dr. Kaku, the world-renowned physicist that probably believe everything that he is saying. 
because he's probably sleep too okay but not everybody sleep now yeah so this knowledge being on the increase right now it was people that resonated with this man on on this plane and he's talking about uh the sixth loop they knew what he was talking about people start screaming and when he mentioned mh370 people start panicking because that plane disappeared and and they you know it's a lot of um <laughs> it's a lot of people are not sweeping it under the rug and trying to dig out the truth of what happened to that plane and they still don't know what happened to it and so they just said oh it just disappeared in the indian ocean but they never found it it just disappeared off the radar and there was something that really strange happened with another plane that disappeared okay so on july 2nd july again the 2nd 1955 flight 914 pan am it had 57 passengers in it and six crew members and it departed from new york to miami but it never ever arrived to its destination and after three hours into the journey, the captain and the co-pilot stopped communicating uh, with air traffic control. So, and the flight disappeared from the radar screens for unknown reasons. At first, it was suspected that the plane had been in a counter, an accident. So that was as, as, as the primary route from the Atlantic Ocean, okay? But several days of searching yielded no results. They couldn't find any wreckage at all. But then unexpectedly, in March of 1985, that plane reappeared, y'all. And it was undetectable by Caracas radar. And they seen passengers' faces pressed against the windows, screaming. Yeah, so... <laughs> See, and that's why I'm, I'm like, this. it's a lot of magical stuff that we just didn't know about. So that, that plane vanished in 1955, and then it came back in 1985, 30 years later. Now, what, what, what could the scientists make up? I mean, you know, I'm sure somebody going to try to debunk what happened and try to explain it away. That's what they always do when they want to keep you asleep, okay? And then they educate us the same way. They have the scientists, those models, like the Earth's core. I remember seeing that when I was in school, the models of the Earth, the inner Earth. And if I knew what I knew now and I didn't answer the way that they wanted me to, I would fail the course. Yeah, so that's how they have it set up for us to stay asleep. And so I look at this as Gabriel blowing his horn. He went toot, toot, honey. So we have this white lady in Texas. And she's saying the same thing. That her flight attendant wasn't real. She was very frightened on that plane. Though I don't know. if Either it was a lot of sleep people on that plane. More than likely. Because everybody was just sitting there very calmly. That was different from this plane here where people was actually feeling it and they were afraid. Yeah, they were trying to calm him down. Now, mind you, they were still on the ground just like her plane, but they felt that urgency because everybody reacted. And then we had a Chinese man. Well, excuse me. It was a Chinese flight. And it was a man on board there that opened up the... the, um, the, the uh, the hatch he opened it up in mid-air yeah he got arrested now i don't know what his issue was they didn't say but that wasn't that was one and then we had uh the boxer the the boxer that um uh, was was saying that somebody on there was dead that he knew the person that he was looking at and he was dead yeah, and he was wanted to tell the the um, the captain. So we have a lot of strange things happening. 
Now, I don't know about you guys, but I remember uh, not long ago, I'll say maybe since before the coronavirus, before the virus hit, what happened was you would only see incidences about planes if they crashed, if they were in trouble, um, if they were hijacked, you know, news like that. You would see that in the news. But all of these episodes with people going crazy on planes just started in recent history. And I was alerted when it just first started happening. It would just be one incidents after another after another. People fly, fighting on planes. People arguing on planes. People trying to open the hatch on planes. People getting taped to the seats and getting their mouths taped up. On planes, it was just so much crazy stuff. And then, of course, it was like the Trump supporters that didn't want to wear their masks. It it was just absolutely crazy. And so that indicated to me that something was happening up in the firmament. This is different. This is different because these people are identifying something. They seen something. He was so afraid, yeah, endorphins and adrenaline, you know, it's all pumped up and he had the fight or flight. He was like, let me the hell up off this plane and y'all better call your families. Yeah, because he said he had seen a demon, honey, from inner earth. Yeah, and they're down there too. They're not in the regions where I show you though. They're not in the regions of Eden. Yeah, but we had the Euphrates River to dry up and y'all seen all those tunnels that appeared. Looked like it was going in the inner earth to me. Yeah, and they're coming out looking for low vibers. Yeah, and many, many people like this man. <clears throat> like this man here, he was very aware of a lot of things that they call conspiracy theories yeah but he's very aware of these things he know what he saw and you see it's like fear gripped his soul he didn't know what to do he's like begging and screaming and hollering at these people and and some of them like i said they resonated with what he was saying and they got afraid too Okay, now look at his language. He said, you guys are waiting for death and life reset. Yeah, he called it a loop before, but now he's calling it a death and life reset. Then he says, don't you guys want a life reset? Don't you feel tired? Now, before he said a, a death and a life reset. Now he's saying, don't you guys want a life reset? You guys spend your whole life working for slavery. Yeah, because we have been controlled in our sleep. I'm telling you, it's all of this is they use magic on the whole world to keep us all asleep. So this dude is really preaching gospel to his people. He's telling the truth. There is a reset in progress, just so you know. Now. The other part of my magic. Can I show off my Google Earth magic, y'all? Yeah, I found this right here. Maybe about maybe about eight months ago or something. In the middle of nowhere, you see that airplane? And look at this kind of angel. This is an angel. You can see his profile. Yeah. And, and he's standing right by that airplane that's there. Look like something's going on with one of the wings or something. Hmm. So it makes you wonder, right? Because that is an angel. I told y'all there's so many different kind of angels and all of them have their assignments to do. And I don't know what his assignment was, but there is a plane in the middle of nowhere with him standing right next to it. Wouldn't that be something if that was that plane from 1955? <laughs> like suspended and he's there to guard over it. Yeah, anything is possible now. I just made a narrative, but I don't know that. It wasn't a download. That's just my opinion, okay? Ooh, we it's been so magical. And um, I've shown you guys so much magic. L listen, if you're new to my channel, go to my 
page and, and just scroll down the videos. I mean, I have over 300 videos now and a whole lot of them. You'll see some magic on the thumbnail. And that magic is real, just like that one. This one right here, just like this one right here. I got the Google Earth coordinates to prove to you that this is a reality. This is not an illusion. It's a reality. Much different from our own. It's the 5D dimension. And that's why I call this world the Matrix all the time. This is a Matrix. It's not real. I remember one of my friends, Javi, tried to tell me that this world wasn't real. And I I was like, no, it's real. And I was like, you feel this? And I touched her arm. I kind of like pat her arm. And I was like, I'm listening to you right now. No, that's not the point of the reality. This was a matrix that the Most High created. Yeah, to bring his star seed into this dimension to process so that when we leave here and go to the other dimension, we can enjoy, we can have full joy. The full experience of joy and love and peace, okay? Because we couldn't experience that in the spirit realm. Okay, you guys, yeah, today is 7252023777. The day that I was born, it's my birthday. Yes, and no, I don't celebrate birthdays, so don't get me twisted and go, don't get all offended. But today is a very special day for me because I made it. I made it. I'm 65 years old and I feel like I made it. That's that's just the energy that I'm feeling right now. And you know what? Today I'm going to change my name. Yeah. My name now is the Hebrew Widow, the Hebrew Rose of Jericho. But you know what? I'm going to drop the Hebrew Widow. I am now the Hebrew Rose of Jericho, fully bloomed, honey. Yes, hallelujah. I made it. I graduated. And it was very hard. It was hard work getting to this point. Many experiences. Oh, my goodness. And I made it to the other side. So from now on, I will be the Hebrew Rose of Jericho. Okay, you guys. <laughs> I'm so happy today. I'm so happy because I know that I, I, I made it. I have a kingdom job. I'm connected to the kingdom. And, and the Most High has used my experiences to help others connect to the kingdom. Yeah, hallelujah. And to move us from believing to knowing. And I want to thank all of you that have followed me from the beginning of this very strange and magical journey. Those of you who resonated from with the truth, you know, while I clumsily, you know, got to the point where I am now, where it was very difficult to explain those things or to show them. Yeah, you resonated with it and you stuck with the channel. And I just want to say thank you so very much. And thank you so much for your support. And I salute you for joining your energy with mine. Honey, because we have taken down formidable enemies. Very 3D powerful people. Yeah, with our energy. All praises to the Most High. We're a very small group. We're not uh, organized or even connected in this 3D. We're only connected on this channel. You know, I have just two subscribers that became my friends and we talk over the phone but other than that i don't have connection other than this channel yes and we are connecting so powerfully into the most high god of israel is hearing us and he's responding we've seen it time and time again so congratulations i salute you hallelujah we are a part of the 5d kingdom we have been accepted hallelujah Okay, okay, you guys, thank you so much for all of uh, you new subscribers. Welcome to my channel. Yeah, it's very strange and magical. There's no other channel out there like this one. Yeah, it's no other channel like this one. We have been um, guided totally by our Holy Mother, whom I call Mari Hala. Some of y'all call her the Ruach Akadash. Yeah, she has led us 
through this very strange journey in in and our formation, our spirit spiritual forna- formation. Yeah, we are we're a troop. We're a mighty troop for the most high in this great war. Yes, we have joined our energy together and and also with the allies. You might not be a part of our Hebrew Israelite nation. Yeah, but you resonated with this truth and you joined your energy as well. Yeah, bless you for that. I salute you too. Yeah, you're on the right side of things. Believe me. And there are many that, you know, once the proof is out there, they believed uh, this message. And, And now they've moved over to resonating with it. Yeah. And so all praises to the Most High. May the Most High bless us all. We are about to graduate. Hallelujah. So congratulations to you all. Yeah, that's what I have for you today. I hope you gleaned some wonderful, beautiful energy, magical energy. Yeah, and um, I hope you gleaned some wisdom from this message. And may the Most High bless us all. Okay, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share all of this good news. Doesn't it feel good to fight back? We are so victorious. All praises to the Most High. This is a game changer, Star Seed United. Star Seed United forever, yeah. And thank you for your support of this station and all your gifts of love. May the Most High multiply them for whatever your heart's desire. Times 100, abracadabra. Yeah, okay, you guys, until the next magical show, your big sister, the Hebrew Rose Jericho out. Shalom!